Hey guys, welcome to the news of Maverick Channel. I'm your host Maverick. Today we are starting a new series, or should I say, uh, revisiting an old series, and that is, of course, Magia Record. We are on season two now. Um, I have watched season one on my channel as well. Feel free to go check that out. And honestly, I've said all that I think needs to be said in within those uh, episodes, right? Uh, Madoka Magica itself is one of my favorite anime series of all time. Uh, you know, top three, literally. But, um, eh, I feel that the Magia Record spinoff here, which is based on a game, you know, doesn't really quite hit that tone for me, to be honest. Uh, it just doesn't really captivate me as much as the original Madoka Magica series did. Um, in, in fact, you know, there's... At this point in time, there's not really all that much I, I see where it has to have the Madoka Magica name. Now, granted, granted, uh, at towards the end of the first season, things did start to get a little bit more interesting, right? Um, we we show signs of maybe a bigger, um, you know, some some bigger evil or bigger darkness surrounding the girls and so on and so forth, and a little bit more, um, how can I say this, connection to the main series as well. And so, uh, a lot of you guys have also been saying that hey it's it's gonna get much more um involved and, and much more epic as time goes on so you know uh hopefully so right hopefully so because honestly i hate for there to be a a series you know under the madoka magica name that um that kind of like um does not live up to its name right so i do hope that the series can go well um and so season two here not really too much else to say at this point nothing really changed it's still the same studio still the same cast and staff and so on and so forth and um yeah at this point let's just get into it and see if it has a better showing all right let's begin in three two one play Oh, I've even kind of forgotten all the girls' names, to be honest. Oh. Starting out quite nicely. You know, with the tried and true, um... How would you really describe that kind of art style? Oh, wait, is that... Is that Homura? Hey! And mother. Hmm. Nice. So, um, you know, it it still hasn't been entirely made clear, like what kind of timeline we're actually in, right? Is this an alternate timeline? Is this sometime in the past, in the future? What exactly is this? Oh, and there's home ability. Okay, instantly starting off with some of the more psychological kind of stuff. I like it. Oh, time has started. Hmm, I guess well. So I guess this is one of those timelines where uh, they actually you know, fight together as five and whatnot. Oh yeah, actually, now that I think about it, they did make a brief appearance in Season 1, right? Especially Mommy. Right, what was that, what was that organization again? Ugh. 
It's been so long. I've I've really And it's Fiji. I do wonder, though. In the lore of this universe, like, how, how long has a magical girl fought it for? Fought for, I mean. Like, how long were they able to maintain their consciousness and all? Right. Thinking about this, I think um, I think one of uh, my earlier theories was that uh, you know in the original series, right, we actually see a few timelines where you know the five of them fought together, you know, doing the actual actual magical girl stuff and whatnot. So this might be like a branch off from that timeline. <laughs> ah, the background music. Calafina. Right. We know that already. <laughs> I do wonder, actually, are there any people who played the Ma Magia Record game but haven't seen the original series? It could be possible, I guess. Right, that was in one of the uh, the last few episodes, right? 
I'm not gonna lie. like that was probably my favorite battle scene <laughs> in season one. Is corrupting. So is this a Homura? Is this a Homura that actually already experienced this from previous timelines, and is already starting her, you know, infinite time travel? Uh, yep. Okay. <laughs> There's our answer. Right, and as as time goes on, as she goes through more iterations, uh, she gradually becomes colder and colder, right? Interesting way to 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 edge into uh, season two by actually bring all the original characters first. I wouldn't have expected them to do something like this. Yeesh. <laughs> well, if it gets the job done.
I mean, it's better than just dying immediately, right? I know, obviously, if their mental was that strong, we wouldn't have the original series in the first place. <laughs> there are surprisingly few times we see... Uh, Madoka in uh, you know her full transformation scene and whatnot. Nice. <laughs> All right, there we go. Showed up. That's why she is the main character. <laughs> Ooh. That is some fire animation there. Nice. There we go. That's the shaft I love. If I help you, you help me, right? We're all in this together. <laughs> Okay, I guess the Homura. <laughs> okay, the mommy theme, eh?
<laughs> Alright. Uh, as I was saying, the Homura in this timeline apparently hasn't uh, gone through enough iterations yet, right? <laughs> Woo. Nice. If you have hope, you have a future. <laughs> oh, hi, Kibi. Huh, interesting. We only get the original cast here for the beginning of the second season, eh? Alright, let's take a look at the, uh, the ending. Or I guess supposedly this should be the opening, right? As typically happens. Ah, uh, yeah! I kind of remember, right? They actually also have that, like, um... Sort of like a reverse sort of a uh, sort of status there. Okay, this is just uh, scenes from the back in the first season, actually. Yeah, this is the opening, right? And of course, it's got to be by Claris. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, they they have that like um how do I say this? They don't exactly witchify, but like half witchify, right? They're able to go into a sort of witchified state, but then also revert as well. That's the uh, unusual thing about like this spinoff, this side story here. The night before awakening, eh? Well, anyways, that was a pretty fire first episode. I'll see you guys after this. Alright, guys, that was the first episode of Magia Record, and I guess it's safe to say that a lot of fans were pleased by this, especially those like me who are huge fans of the original series, right? Although I have to say, it is a little bit, um, how can I say this? It is a little bit weird also that they're choosing to kick off the second season in, in such a way. I mean, don't get me wrong, it definitely grabs attention and whatnot, but personally, I probably would have moved something like this into maybe the very last episode of, of season one or whatnot then then you would get really hyped for the second season and and so on and so forth right um but as it stands no um i i guess what can i say about this right um you know originally i was thinking that you know this this entire magia record spin-off is probably the way that i understand it basically is that it's basically one of the timelines in which homura was um went through in order to try and save uh madoka right obviously that's that's her entire goal and whatnot and then this is you know sort of like a what if scenario if we go a little bit further into one of those timelines here now um 
of course, the action home are actually uh, progressing on, and then eventually, you know, we have the the wish of Madoka, and then Omura trying to undo her wish, and, and all that kind of stuff. Now, that is also something entirely else, right? Um, and, and the Homura at that point, obviously, is also the more of a, you know, the more cold, realistic, and pragmatic uh, character that we, we know and love, right? She's definitely not this kind of, still, kind of like a, um, you know, a, a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a of a klutz, if you will, um, and and so not quite uh, having gone through that entire circle of despair and and uh, and hopelessness and helplessness and so on and so forth, right? So I I would say that if we are trying to to fit this into the original timeline, this probably happened sometime um, near the near the beginning, right? Near when Homura was just starting her her infinite loop in in infinite. Um, and trying to to get through um, and and somehow change the situation, change the future and whatnot. And so this, I'm guessing what's happening here is that there was some slight deviance that that happened that allowed them to to figure out, hey, there's actually this other kind of way um, that that can also sort of circumvent this entire uh, magical girl, this entire curse, um, if, if you want to call it, you know, how magical girls eventually turn into witches, right? And I guess that's how they are they are sort of framing this story framing this timeline here now does this have any uh, effect with with what eventually does happen right I, I'm talking about the main series here maybe maybe not um you know, we, we already have this sort of infinite timeline kind of thing. We could also theoretically have an infinite universe sort of thing, right? Nobody said that that's not possible. It all depends on what the writers, uh, what the producers want in, in terms of this. Or maybe this is actually still a dead end, right? That could also be entirely possible. Uh, we, we shouldn't rule that out, right? Uh, if we are going to say that there is only one true ending and there is only one true timeline here, well, this could potentially be one of the ones which uh, Homura... Uh, in, um, invested a lot of her time in and and thinking hoping that this would be the one and then eventually falling short and then for her having to go through the entire thing all over again and eventually uh going back to the um the, the conclusion we reach in the main series right i mean that that's all possible right um but as it stands i guess we're just here to enjoy the story uh while we can here because as i said um one thing that i i do give credit to this spinoff though is how they utilize the sort of um you know i, I really I, I can't remember like what the terminology was uh was you know i'm talking about the the sort of um the, the sort of a shadowy character if you will the one the faceless character if you will um which almost seems like they are getting corrupted and being turned into witches but not quite because they are all they are still able to revert back to their normal form uh once uh it's all said and done uh and and then there's this um there's this secret organization that's that's somehow taking advantage of this sort of transformation ability well as at the same time, also touting that they have a solution to solve this entire witchification uh, sort of process and problem here, and, and that is obviously when something that our you know our actual main cast are are supposed to go through, um, and then for for you know these OG characters and whatnot, maybe eventually they will meet up sometime uh, in. Um, in the Kamihama city and um, you know they will rendezvous and and see what this is all about and if it really can solve their situation right um, no I, I I have to say right at this point I don't think they can right I don't think this is the solution but we will have to see beyond that though you know obviously um, this episode was fire uh, you know it, it featured a lot of the um, really really cool action scenes especially when Sayaka came and um, you know I I I feel like even in the original series, right, uh, some of the coolest animation and some of the coolest fights were done by the melee characters. Um, don't get me wrong, like, I personally, from a personal preference side, I, I really love the range attacks and whatnot, and every time Homura, you know, I, I still remember, recall so vividly, right, and, you know, that scene, you guys know what I'm talking about, when Homura stops a time and then, you know, gets, like, every single kind of weaponry that, that you can imagine, from, from a pistol, to guns, to rifles, to rocket launchers, to even freaking tanks tanks and whatnot, you know, that, that was so fire, right? Um, obviously, the home run that we see here isn't quite as, uh, as adept yet, right? Uh, like I said, she hasn't really gone through that many iterations yet, but, um, you know, but, but the rest, uh, especially on Sayaka's side, when she was slash, slicing and dicing and whatnot, and, the, you know, the unique designs of the witches and so on and so forth, and then, obviously, also, uh, Taking, um, or how can I say it? Taking the the original theme song, right, by by Calvina and and whatnot. I, I mean, you you really can't um, 
you know what what more can you want right what more can you want from all of this um but um yeah that's basically it for this episode right it's just a it's a good it's a good strategy to pull in you know the um the the viewers who uh, probably like me had a lot of um had a lot of things to say of the first season and whatnot um and you know i i know some people are going to be like hey this is you know forget the the og series this is you know this is its own thing and whatnot we're supposed to identify with with this cast of characters you know we follow their stories uh you can't you know expect everything to be like the like the og series and i understand where you're coming from right i i, I actually do but the the thing is, though, you know, even as a standalone series, I have a lot of problems with how they develop the characters and how they progress the story and the pacing and so on and so forth. So, um, you know, even even taking that into you know that kind of account, I still feel like it, it leaves a lot to be desired. But as I said before, right, and towards the end of the first season, I felt like it was getting better and better. We were starting to get a little bit more uh, into the story there. We were starting to get more into uh, actual character interactions and whatnot, and and um, allowing us to build a report from for these characters. Uh, and obviously, also the fights and um, action was getting cooler and cooler as well. So we're off to a great start. Hopefully, uh, season two can maintain this kind of tension and action and quality. And if so, well, I think it just might redeem its name yet. So thank you guys. That was it for episode one. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.